Hey everybody, I'm Steph. I'm Michael. Today we're checking out Miller Zoo from Randolph. So this is a cooperative game based on Miller Zoo in it's sort of a, a rehabilitation uh, animal sanctuary in Frampton, Quebec. So uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, and all of the characters. And all of the animals are based on real employees and real animals in Miller Zoo. I think that's all sweet. So, what are we trying to do? We are trying to receive animals and place them into the zoo. And uh, here's the thing. We also have to care for the existing animals that are in the zoo. Uh, it is cooperative. It is cooperative. So there has elements of a legacy because you will be stickering things as you go. Yes. Um, though you're going to be stickering things uh, not in a unique way. Uh, you will just be adding to things. Uh, normally the characters uh, that you will play don't start off with any abilities. Then they will gain uh, some abilities and then they will gain a special ability and you will sticker those right onto the card. Now, you are going to see some of those elements in this game because we are gonna play what is called the classic game. Now, you don't even get to the classic game level right off the bat at, at uh, right when you're starting to play this game. Um, but once you win some challenges and open some super cool envelopes, then you will get to unlock harder to rescue animals. You will unlock those powers that we talked about, and uh, you will also unlock some challenges, which you will then, once you have completed those challenges, you can sticker them on the back of the board. Um, now, if for some reason you are uh, playing with multiple groups, then there are check boxes on some of the uh, on the, all of the challenges in these envelopes so that whenever the owners of the game do it for the first time they can put the challenges on the sticker to the back of the board and then the second third and fourth times that is reached by let's say friends who are playing the game or if you uh, pass this game on to somebody else then they can do the little check boxes on the challenge cards also, whenever you have your first loss, you've got a, an envelope to open up, which will add other cards mm -hmm. that I will not spoiler. So we played through, there's like five envelopes, and then each in each envelope there's missions to overcome, but you don't have to do all the missions in one play, so it's going to be more than five plays, and you might lose. So we ended up playing the whole game. All of the challenges. In 17 games. It sounds like a lot, but the games are actually pretty quick. Between, I don't know, 10 to 20 minutes, generally? 20, 25 um, minutes? Actually, the, well, the box says one to six players and a box playtime of 30 minutes. Sure. However, that being said, there are challenges to complete it in 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Yep. And we did actually overcome those challenges. So you can play faster than 30 minutes, you, for sure. It can definitely be a faster game, especially if you are losing <laughs> but uh yeah they they kind of go quickly in the early games are very quick because there's not much to overcome right exactly and they're easier animals to recruit yep so oh, let's let's take a look at this super cute game so whenever you are playing what is called the classic game um it's basically the infinite challenge that you can play and replay over and over and over and when you get good at the classic game you can play the advanced game and so this is set up for the classic game where we have taken all of the animals that we have gained throughout all of our envelopes and we're going to place three level one animals three level two animals and three level three animals into our animal deck uh, and it just so turns out, look, they all want to go to the uh, to the yellow, the yellow orange oh my goodness. habitat. So um, it just happened to turn out that way. It's not always like that. Now, notice each animal has certain needs that need to be fulfilled. Like Zebulon, he occasionally uh, 
needs to have what is that called uh medical uh it's a medical need uh sometimes you'll see i don't know if this is going to show up because of the green screen well yeah it looks like a gray apple but it is a bright green apple that has a hunger need uh the blue water droplets have thirst um some of them uh need grooming which is the little comb some want uh, enrichment, which is the big pur little purple ball here. And then some of them uh, are in damaged habitats, which is the little work symbol here, the little uh, hammer and wrench. So these animals here we already have in our zoo. These animals we want to receive into our zoo. So we have nine of them, uh, the five here and the four that are already out in the reception areas. And we're trying to receive those into our zoo. So uh, we want to uh, complete the challenge of getting all of the animals in the zoo before the resource deck runs out of cards. Now the resource deck has a lot of cards, but you are going to be spending a lot of cards. So each of these resource uh, cards will have one or two symbols on them. So um, the player aid is super helpful and of course the green is see-through but uh, it basically says that there's a dawn morning afternoon and night phase after you've played for a while you don't really even need the player aid cards but uh they do help you remember what happens when so dawn is time to wake up each teammate draws a hand of four resource cards now you'll notice that uh steph and i have chosen to play clifford and madeline who, uh, after a while, will start with certain powers. Uh, this uh, wrench icon means whenever I visit a location, uh, I can clear off one wrench from one animal at that location. Madeline has the same thing except for the grooming icon. In addition, we each have a special power. Madeline's is that she can draw an extra card at the start of her turn, and I can move freely between these reception spaces. So, um, each teammate draws four cards. You will get four plus one extra, and that is what happens in Dawn. In the final round, if uh, the, remember that the timer is when the resource cards run out that uh, the game is over. However, if there just aren't enough cards to hand out during the dawn phase, all is not lost yet. You're just not going to get a full hand of cards. You should just divide them as evenly as possible. So then morning happens. Each teammate will draw a needs card. It really doesn't matter what order you do this in, as long as each of you draws one. I have medical and damaged habitat. So every animal in our zoo, not in the reception spaces, is going to get one of these icons. So I've got a medical and damaged habitat. Steph has thirst, and grooming. Now, you'll note each of these needs cards will have one or two icons. If there are two icons, you'll notice this little plus one resource card. That means I get an extra one. And so does Steph because, hey, we've got difficult needs to handle on this first turn. Now, you can play this with open information and work together. Wow, does anybody need combs? I got about a billion. I am a comb. Yeah, and you are a comb because you will Thankfully, provide. Thankfully, I do need combs. Well, that's there. good because I'm going to probably go down there and do that. So if you run out of problem tokens, it it's never been an issue for us through any of the challenges. At one point, we had like eight on the board. So um, but we should distribute them equally. If there are no more needs cards in the deck, and we've also never had that, uh, then distribute them out. Uh, sh shovel the discard pile and make a new deck. You yes? can play with up to six people. So, of course, you can run out of these because there are no It, is, it is possible. So, now, yeah. remember, each player is going to draw a needs card. So yep. it could happen that, that those run out. Now, afternoon is where the bulk of everything happens. 
And during the afternoon, you are going to use your resource cards to move or fix problems or receive these animals uh, in those reception spaces. So to move, all you do is discard a card, uh, either one that is in front of you, which is basically in your hand, or one of these in the reserve spaces. We don't have any in the reserve yet because we haven't ended a, a round yet with any leftover cards. We can save three at the end of the round. So I need to spend a card, putting it in the discard, and then moving from, you were starting out in the canteen uh, at the uh, start of each round, and I'm gonna move out to the little safari area or the, uh, the little highlands area, or the uh, plains area, or to one of these reception spaces. Now, you'll often notice me as Clifford just going here, just in the reception area, because I can freely move amongst those spaces. I will try to remember to actually go to an actual space and just freely move between them. But anyway, you don't take player turns. You're just gonna go in whatever order you think is best. So, to fix a problem, then you will discard whatever card uh, that matches that spot. Now, if you can handle multiple things in a space, like if I had a water and grooming card, I could spend one water and grooming card to take care of both of those. However, uh, if I have a water card that has something else on it and a grooming card with something else on it, I don't get change. I don't get like if I were to use this to handle the grooming, I don't get a ball in change unless I have an animal there with a ball that needs it. Um, if I'm going over to the reception spaces to place something, uh, then I can place the card and leave it there. Uh, that is counting one grooming towards this animal's needs of. Uh, in order to receive it, I'm going to need two med kits and a water and a grooming. And if that is ever underneath uh, this critter, then he gets to move over to the zoo spot. But keep in mind, uh, as soon as you receive him, then the next round, that animal might have needs that comes up. So, um, so you'll just store those cards underneath uh, those animal card spots. Um, and that is, so we've got move, fixing problems, and receiving animals. That's what you will use these cards for. Um, when the animal's card has been paid, then the animal's cost has been paid. Let's say, for instance, I go here. This is actually a really good example because I can do this. I figured we are going to do this first. I'm if also going to go there. Well, let, let, me, let me just describe this. Um, what happens is, is I play a card to move. I play something like this, I automatically con uh, contribute this habitat icon. So I, this spongette, the needs the uh, needs are fulfilled in order to bring spongette to the zoo. At that point, everyone that is on this space can then go with spongette. However, you don't have to, you can just stay here. Now, if I had water and comb resources, I could probably go over there. Um, it would be even better if Steph were over here, as she was mentioning, she would contribute to comb to it. Uh, so whenever that happens, Steph could go over with Spongette and handle Napoleon's uh, grooming needs and possibly handle Dodge's thirst need. Uh, immediately, you're gonna we're gonna draw a card to replace uh, Spongette and if it happens to be something I can handle, then we are going to uh, try to fulfill those needs as well. Hey, thanks, Shano. Thanks for that subscription. Thanks, Shano, and Dan will appreciate that. 90 gift subscriptions. You are Whoa. fantastic, Amazing. Shano. Yeah. So uh, that is the afternoon phase. At night, let's go ahead and reset everything here. At night, we've got closing time. Everyone goes, excuse me, everyone goes back to the canteen. Um, we can store three resource cards. Um, all other cards are discarded uh, if we've got more than three. Um, 
And remember, anyone can use these cards here in these storage spaces. And then if any of these tokens remain, we're gonna have what's called a crisis. We're gonna deal cards off the top of the deck, one at a time, and if we have car, if we have cards that will match one or more of these tokens, we can discard those tokens until all the tokens are removed. But that's gonna burn cards off of our resource deck that we might actually need. So then we check to see if it's the end of the game. Have all the animals been received? If yes, hey, we've won. If we, they haven't all been received and there are still cards in the resource deck, then we can continue to the next day. And of course, if it's your first defeat, don't forget, open up that first loss envelope. So uh, there's also solo mode. And as I mentioned earlier, there are special challenges that you can try to uh, overcome. Important to know that when you do start the game, you don't have the comb on your character. You don't have yeah. the character ability. The very either. first game, you won't have any of these. So you have to beat those... Uh, early games to get these abilities unlocked and these these stickers on the cards. However, since uh, you will have some of these unlocked at the time you play the classic game, we went ahead and said, okay, we're just going to show it as the classic game. Yeah, it's pretty easy to overcome the first couple games. For sure, for sure. So we've already gone through and gotten our cards. We've already had the morning phase where we have the, all the needs pop up. Now, I guess we're going to go down and uh, take care of some of these, right? I was going to go to Spongette. And I should just go to Spongette, too. Yeah. And then that way I will contribute my icon. So we have each discarded a card. You have we, a single comb. So. I have a single comb. So I'm going to play the single comb. Spongette is handled. Spongette goes over here. I'm going to go with Steph her. is going to travel with. I clear. I am not. The you comb. automatically clear this comb. Now, if... Here's the catch. The rules are not particularly clear. If for some reason Spongette and Napoleon both had a comb, or Dodge and Napoleon both had a comb, it's not clear as to whether you can remove both of these or one of these. We have been playing the harder interpretation of the rules where you can do one resource from one animal, not one resource from each animal. Right. The rules say one resource from an animal. Well, this is an animal and this is an animal. So it is not clear. I'm pretty sure um, that I got confirmation that you, you remove one and then you can move off, move back and clear it again. And then another one. Okay, good. So that's not. Fair. So it's not, but I'm trying to explain the, I'm trying to explain the scenario. The other scenario is this. We are certain that you cannot take care of both of these combs. We can definitely only get one comb from Napoleon if that were like that. So as soon as you appear here, you can take handle that grooming need. And you do have a wild card, a wild joker token here um, that can handle any of the resources. Notice the little uh, golf cart. This is on all of the different cards that basically says you can use the card to move. That's really all that golf cart means. So you have done that. Since I'm staying here, I'm going to see what this animal is. Oh, hey, it's Buddy. I can't handle Buddy. Uh, I can um, freely move over here and place this on Lune. Um, I should probably go over here and take care of Aramis, but I can't go here and take uh, take care of Luna. L Launa? I can. I guess. You can definitely do that if you think you should, or we can let the deck handle it. That's a lot of good resources. That's why. I mean, That's a hard choice. But it's we know. The devil you know. Yeah. Uh, now, the med kits that are there, um, med kit and food is down here. Medkit, water, and grooming, you don't have those in your combinations. I have a medkit and grooming. I should leave this with Zebulon. Although you ha you could handle a grooming. Now you don't even need to be there for that. That will work. I'm going to spend this last card to basically take, to move. Mm, I was describing this. Um, 
I'm discarding a card in order to take care of this one token. I know you're rushing to try to get things handled, oh. but I'm trying to describe the actions as we do. I spent a card to move and spent a card to kill the uh, token here. Yeah, so this is her card to move. This is the card to handle the med kit. And if there had been a ball here on Patoff, she could have a absolutely have, it would have been great. that up. Now, mm -hmm. there are no crises to handle. Yep. So we don't have to deal any cards off the top. I had two we leftovers. We do have two left over, and those go into storage. So that's going to be great for us for next round. Yeah. Hey, it's next round. I get four cards. You get five cards. And we got problems. And then the needs come up. Hey, anybody need any more combs? I usually use these for uh, movement because she handles most of the combs. Looks like we have med kits. What I get? That's a good question. You get food. Hmm. Nobody gets extra cards because these were single need cards. That shouldn't be too bad. That shouldn't be bad at all. All right, we still need a med kit and a water here. We need a food here, which I can handle a food if we need to. Um, the ball and food I should put on Boris, I think. And this, I think I should probably put over on Buddy. Because those match up rather well. Whoops, we all moved to the canteen. We sh should have done that. I'm going to spend a comb to move here and kill that med kit. All right, so spending a comb, going here, and spending that for the med kit. Did it. Then I don't know. Then you don't know. Well. That's as far as I got. And that's as far as your analysis. I have the water. I will spend this to go down in these spaces. Uh, I think I like that plan where I was contributing this. That's half of that. And then this is quite a bit of this. I could do this or this. Steph, what do you think? Yeah. You think, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Right now, Actually, I, I can clear it. I can clear Buddy right now. Which maybe we should have waited until that. How do you clear Buddy? Uh, uh, this is the work. I am a work that is a med kit. I could. Or we don't worry about it. Um, Unfortunately, we have extra cards left over if we don't. So. Sure. So I've got these on Buddy. We go up to Buddy. I am not going to Buddy. No, because if you pull a card that needs a comb, then you can use your uh, uh, Yeah. Currently, there are none that need a comb. That also does not need a comb. Uh, I uh, should probably go there. Uh, if you do, then uh, we do actually, you have enough to handle it all. Otherwise, we lose a card. So I either use a card to move somewhere or. Well, unfortunately, you have to use the double water to move, which is fine. I was I thinking guess. moving with this one and just dropping this card there. Oh. And then maybe we'll get a ball next time. And save sure. the double water. Sure, that'll work. You're going to move over here. And Oh, that, that ball oh, one is. This ball goes. Other ball. Oh, I don't know what you're doing. I, I could put them both there. And then nighttime happens. This goes here. We go here. And we have crisis because we did not handle Raphael or Spongette's needs. No. Well, hey, that's a double food. Gone. That's gone. Nope. 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 Don't be like us. Wow. That was a lot of cards. Okay. Woo-hoo-hoo. <laughs> I have food needs. Raphael's hungry again. What about oh, he's me? a turtle. I bet he's a ninja turtle. What about me? Flip it. You. Ball. Mm. Look, ball, ball. Yeah, Clifford the big red dog. Not <laughs> great. Boo. I don't like habitat. 
symbols. <clears throat> well, I mean, we can finish any of these, but then that sends us over here if we want, but there's no needs to be met here. I mean, I or we finish one and then see if it's blue and try and finish the next one. Uh, would you like to finish off any of this or just head down there? You don't even need me for you, that. You go down there and see if you finish anything. And see if I finish anything. Yeah, just see what flips out. Finish any what? You mean Emma? Yeah. I'll have to finish her with a wild. Yeah. All right, you said it. All right, so I am moving down. I guess I'm spending this. No, spending a habitat to move. Spending this as a ball. Emma goes over here. What's next? What's next? What's next? No, 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 no. It's Green. Nala. I have a good card for there. Yes, you do. I also I have a card for there. It's the water does nothing, but it does have a work. So, and I am a work. So we need a ball and two med kits. Can you use that to move? Okay, let's go. You going? Yep. I'm using the comb to move. Using the comb to move. And then here's that. That's a ball and two med kits, and then what's already there. Yes. All right. Now we move before we release. Well, here's where you have to decide is that according to the 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 turn order in the rules, you have to decide if you're going to move over with Nala or wait here. I think I will. I can, will clear, can clear the food. Because Madeline can't freely go from space to pay, space. If Madeline wants to contribute to another animal, she has to pay a card to move over. You're going to do that to take care of Raphael? Yeah. All right, Ninja Turtle, you are fed. All right. What's I'm this? getting this. Oh, it is. Yeah. It I was say blue. Nuts. Blue. Da ba dee da ba die. Da ba dee da ba die. Oh, I should have stayed. Da -da -da -da. Going over here. Well. What? Yeah, okay. Well, what? Right. I have no balls. I know. Should we just so, save these cards and go for a double ball? Sure. Now, now, you might ask yourself, self, why doesn't Steph just go there and handle Zebulon? Because if this is a medical needs card, Zebulon is going to need medical assistance. Best to just leave that there and let Steph get it at her leisure. Plus, she might be able to handle this stuff on next day's handling because she'd hop down there Take care of Zebulon uh, with a med kit. Oh, uh, yeah, with the wild for the med kit and head over there to handle all this stuff. Or I could do it um, because we don't have anything extra to handle there other than the med kit. So that will do it. Um, we do have two balls to deal with. Come on, double ball card. Come on, double ball. Nope. Mm -hmm. Nope. Nope. One. Wow. Oh, my God. Wow. So bad. We're going to lose. What? I should have gone over there. There we go. Yeah, you should have. Well, how do you know? How do you know? Look at how many cards. I need a plague. Yeah. We just this lost. is unacceptable. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. We are yeah, down to we lost. maybe a couple of turns. Because that just, was... Just clear all these animals right now. Unfortunately, there are five total left. Uh, that's mine. It's uh, the only habitat problem. And you have balls. Of course. Of course you have balls. Of course. Of course. All right. I'm definitely heading down there. Hey, Reggie. Thanks for joining us. Um. All right. It doesn't matter which of these I spend. Actually, none of these need water. Some of them might need water at some point. That one needs a, a med kit. Well, let me see what pops up. Uh, this is me. It needs a med kit. I have a med kit. It has work on it, but 
It's fine. All right. Nothing over here needs anything, so I'm just going to put Zebulon up and bring out Eleanor. This is all we have left. Um, if I had a, f I do have a food. I'm going to go over here. I am going to spend this for the food. I am the work. Yep. We, we already have two water. I'm going across with Winnie. Clearing a ball. Uh, actually, did I want to spend, did I want to leave this here? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave that there. I, I went to Eleanor before taking care of this. Yeah. And I'm going to clear both balls with Good. both balls. Perfect. One, two. Now, can I finish this off? If you can't, food. I suggest not totally doing it. Food. I do not have three foods. So, so I could do something else instead. Play this. Sure, I go there and go pay here that. and pay that and then come back to the canteen and then save those. Three. Save those three. Yeah, we have one more turn. We don't need any crisis cards, so that's good. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. We do have some left in case we go into crisis mode. Let's hope for not. Let's hope for some easy to handle needs. Med kit. No. Med. Med. And med. And Zebulon needs med. Nope, not close. What's and yours is... Oh, um, no. Uh, uh, med kit. Med kit. Blah, blah, blah. And work. Well, hopefully we don't need those wilds, but... Well, we kit. have some med kits, so when we clear these, we can go over and... Yeah, gonna have to. So... This is definitely my move card. Yep. Moving down here. I'm not sure where yet. Oh, yeah. This is Lune. Perfect. Or Eleanor. This is the other one. I don't have the combs. I'm going to need your help on that. We have a ball. You are a comb. We need a food. Uh, you have... A food, so use less of the wilds as possible. There's the ball comb combination, though, right there on the for board. Boris. Yeah, yes. So I'm gonna free move to Boris. This is there. Do I want to go over with Boris? No, I'm gonna be down here anyway, right? Yeah, you need to complete a different one. And I'll complete. I have the food right here. You should put a food on Eleanor. I should put a food on Eleanor. Sure. And then move to a different location and finish one of the other two. Or both of the other two, since I can do that. Sure, yeah. However, that's... No, I have a food. That's so. both of the wilds. This is why I didn't want to do this one. All right. Well. So. Okay, fine. You have to come to this, period. You have to. All right. That takes care of Lune. I'm not moving over with Lune. I am then freely moving over here to Boris and finishing off Boris with a food. You don't have to go over with, so that's fine. All right, I moved to. I spent that card to go over there. You spent a card to go. And over. I have to spend these two cards to finish that off. That is the the groom. She is a groom, and uh, she does food. So Eleanor is done. So just stick that right there. You going? I guess you're going over. I have two med kits. You have. You have we have three total med kits. Four, because the middle. Four total med kits. That's these two and these two. And there's a you have I, I am spending this to move. To move over here to automatically take out the work. So we win unless there's no med kits in this <laughs> crisis deck. There is <laughs> one med kit left uh, undone. Uh, one med kit. Should oh, we should have we should have done a prediction. I did. Oh, you did. Nothing. Nothing. 
Nothing. Nothing. Nothing. Six left. Nothing. Five. <laughs> there it is. Oh my God. Do we have any more? There was two left in the deck. Wow. We barely won. Bye. Classic <laughs> mode. Wow. There we go. We did it. <laughs> That's the idea of the game. Uh, we just played the, the classic mode. Uh, so there are obviously missions where you're given certain things Challenge. that you need to do in order to beat. And so you still play the normal game of trying to recruit and deal with crisis, but you have other things to overcome. So tricky stuff. Yep. For example, deal off 10 resource cards uh, before you start the game. Not sure we would have won that. Not sure we wouldn't have won that. Though. Or put random animals into the zoo at the start, which basically increases all of those yeah. needs that you have to take care of. Super challenging. All of these challenges make it really challenging and a lot of fun. Here's the thing, though. You can do multiple challenges in one game. So that's sort of interesting to do as well. So, um, yeah, this uh, this game is uh, I it was not on my radar at all. And it is super fun. Yeah, I've really enjoyed playing through this. Um, and it's I mean, we knocked them all out. We're like, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do them all. And we did. So um, I guess we can go ahead and show the back of the board now okay. that we have finished. We can show all of the stickers that are on the back of the board from all of the different challenges and everything. So we get to sticker up the board every time we do a main uh, a main game. Then we put the stickers on the paths. Anytime we do any of the challenges, we do the little side paths. So pretty cool. Yeah, I really like this one. So hopefully we can draw more eyes on it because I think it I think it's a game that a lot of people will enjoy. Yep. Uh, and have a good time with. Good for families, it's too. Six different characters to play. Yeah. So one for each of the symbols. Yep. As a matter of fact. So. It's awesome. I want stickers. Shannon wants stickers. I mean, yeah, don't we all? <laughs> <laughs> but um, so. yeah, definitely check out Miller's Zoo from uh, Randolph and Hachette. That's right. And yeah. uh, for those of you who enjoyed this uh, and want uh, to see us play more games like this, then uh, check out all the rest of our videos. And if you want to be a part of the chat, you can join us on Wednesday and Sunday nights at 5 p.m. Central over on twitch.tv slash boardgamersdeath, where every night we play and teach through three games every night. And, uh, yep, you can come and be a part of the fun. Yep. Uh, and for those on Twitch right now, we will be right back. <laughs>